All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you my review about Ever Webinar. Is Ever Webinar useful in 2023? In my previous video, I shared about Webinar Jam. I shared the complete configuration, everything available in Webinar Jam, latest settings. And now let's discuss about Ever Webinar. So what is the difference between these two, Webinar Jam and Ever Webinar? Webinar Jam is basically for the live webinars. Okay, and Ever Webinar is you can convert your live webinar or maybe your existing video, you can convert this into an automated webinar. So for automation, webinar automation, you have to use Ever Webinar. So you don't have to buy these two separately. Okay, so what I've done is I have taken a 30 days, um, uh, I mean, monthly monthly uh, membership, I have taken it. Okay, so what you can do is you can go to uh, dnaclub.in slash webinar jam. So that's my affiliate link. You can go to this link. And you can take 30 days trial of both webinar jam and ever webinar. Okay. So choose this basic plan. Okay. 500 uh, attendees. And, okay. And here you will get both the options uh, automated webinars as well as the live webinar. Okay. So go ahead, take action. Okay. And uh, I will share this link in this video description as well. Now, uh, now the thing is ever webinar. I'm going to share with you the proper uh, configurations which are available here. Okay, so if I click on access here and uh, here I can click on add a new webinar. It has interface almost like a webinar jam. Okay, and now it is asking me to select the video source, source video. Is it an external video? Okay, so I can upload, I can actually set, uh, I can actually give the link of a YouTube video or maybe a Vimeo video. Okay. Else what I can do, I can also convert an existing webinar jam live session, which I did previously in webinar jam. I can use that also exact replica will be uh, converted into ever webinar. I mean, suppose if I did a live webinar yesterday, 8 PM um, and so many people attended it with all the live chats and offers and everything, it is going to create an exact replica of it. Okay. So people will not be able to understand if it is a I mean, I mean, they can also see the chats also. So in the entire environment, this, that energy which we have created, the same thing will be displayed here. Okay. So I can select the existing webinar. Now, say for example, I want to select uh, this one. Okay. So session, I did this on this time. Okay. So click on confirm. So what is doing? What it is doing is converting my existing previous live webinar which I did in webinar jam to to automated webinar. Now basic settings. Here I can give the webinar name, okay, like test for this purpose only, okay, webinar title, it is, it automatically picked from the webinar jam settings, which I previously did, okay, uh, then click on confirm, presenter, same, now let's click on next. Now, this is important thing, that is webinar schedules. Now, suppose now you want to run this webinar every day, okay, now every day you can select every day at 11 a.m. So every day it is going to play at 11 a.m., okay, if I click on add. Else, what I can also do is suppose I want to play this every Sunday. So it is going to play every Sunday at 11 a.m. So this way, suppose you want to do this on every uh, alternate day. So you can select every Monday, 11 a.m. Every Wednesday, okay, select the time, 11 a.m. Okay, got it. And similarly, every Friday, 11 a.m. So this way I can do the setting. So it is going to run Monday, Wednesday and Friday, okay. Enable instant uh, watch replay. So let's unselect it. So if you want person to, uh, I mean, if you're promoting your webinar on Zoom, or, sorry, on YouTube or maybe through paid ads. So you, do you want person to instantly watch the replay? Yes or no? Okay, allow late attendance. Suppose it starts at 11, but if somebody joins at 11, 2, 11, 5, so can they enter the webinar? Yes. Okay, let's select yes. Enable just in time option. Okay, so can they join the webinar? instantly within next 15 minutes. Okay, so they will see, okay, the next webinar is starting in next 15 minutes. So this way you can have the options. Uh, display schedule. Okay, so by default, it is going to show next three schedules. So I can select, I want to show the person only the next immediate available schedule. Okay, the next webinar, that's it. Also, do you want to block any particular day? Now say for example, Monday, uh, suppose on Monday it is 25th December, Christmas, and you, you want to keep it an off. So you can select some public holidays like this so that uh, you can keep it as an off day. Okay, so it's up to you. So these are some very good options available here. I can click on confirm. So this way we can do the scheduling. Next, so registration page and everything, it is automatically picked from Webinar Jam. So, so this entire configuration I did through Webinar Jam, and it automatically picks up the landing page design, which I did using Webinar Jam. So, okay. 
registration uh, form fields, name, email ID, and phone number. Then free to register, okay, new registration notification and uh, password protection. Same settings as we did in Webinar Jam. You can watch my previous video on Webinar Jam for this, okay, same configuration. Now, reminder notification before the event, okay, uh, at the time somebody registers, they get an email, then one hour before the event, 15 minutes before the event, and then also you can add post webinar notification, okay, suppose you want to send after two hours. Uh, after the webinar starts, you want to send email to only people who attended, okay? To only the people who attended the webinar, okay? So you can send them an email, okay? Maybe a, a replay video, maybe you can, uh, what usually I do is I give them a bonus, okay? I say this, okay? Training bonus, training gift, uh, training gifts for you, okay? Example, and then what I usually do is, I, I what I do, okay, hi, and then I can add first name from here, Okay. Um, thanks for attending the webinar because these are the people who attended it. Okay. Click here to book a free consultation call. So you can ask these people to book a free consultation call, select, and then you can change. You can actually add the URL here. So you can convert this into hyperlink. So this way, after the webinar, those people who didn't take any action, you can um, automatically send an email to all these people so that they book a free consultation call so that later on you can convert these people. Okay. So, okay. So reminder emails, and then next auto email responder, you want to integrate with uh, convert kit or any other email service provider, you can connect those. So let's keep it. Then the confirmation page, which means a thank you page. Okay. So default ever webinar, thank you page. Like once they register, they will see you are registered like this. Okay. If you want to do the survey, you can use it. Okay, thank you page design. You want to change the design of the thank you page, you can do it from here. Then click on next. Almost same as Webinar Jam. Auto replay, same. Okay, do you want to enable the auto replay? Oh, sorry, auto auto play. Auto play means uh, once the timer hits, countdown timer hits zero, um, should this webinar play instantly? Okay, or should they find an option like click here to start the webinar? So let's uh, keep it disabled. Okay. Countdown page design, okay, just before the webinar, like 10, 9, 8. So this way, this page also you can design. You can do some configuration here. Live room uh, design, like the web actual actual webinar room. So web, uh, suppose you are uh, you want to use your brand colors, you can use your brand colors also in the webinar room, okay? Then live content. So what we have done is we have already selected the previous webinar, which was 1 hour 51 minutes. So it is automatically picked from there. Now here is interesting uh, setting here. Okay, so live chat box. So as I've picked the previously uh, done webinar, so it is automatically, it, it populates all the chats, all the messages which people typed during the live webinar. So what we can do, we can also add more, more comments here, like after two minutes, okay, two minutes and 10 seconds of the webinar. Suppose you want Rahul, okay, and hello sir, excited for the webinar. So this way you can add more chat chats. Okay. So people who are watching, who are going to watch this live, they will feel that this is a live audience, which are messaging. Okay. So this is a really good option. Next is display number of attendees. So again, this is a cool setting here, which means uh, during the automated webinar, um, you want to display a dynamic simulated number of attendees. Now, say for example, I want to show one, uh, like suppose 245. So what it is going to do, it is going to display around two, two, 230 people at the beginning of the webinar, at the peak after 10, 20 minutes, it will go to maximum 245. And then gradually it is going to, at the end of the webinar, it is going to tell, it is, it is going to go till 200 or till 180. Okay. So people will feel that this is a live, so many people are watching it, but in reality, only maybe only one person is watching it. Okay. So this dynamic simulated attendees, uh, you can, you can say fake attendee count you can display. Okay. Confirm the next, this is a cool setting. Then uh, webinar replay. Do you want to uh, keep a replay for maybe 12 hours? So you can say yes, allow replay page, click on confirm. Replay page expiry, set an expiry down. As for example, after the webinar, you can say, okay, after 12 hours, you will have a replay page and else you will not find, I mean, within 12 hours, you can watch the replay. Okay. Automatically, the page will be disabled. 
okay then click on next and then finally congratulations go to dashboard so once all the setting is done okay so i can see this is the webinar which we have just configured if i click on your links so this is the link which i have to sell i have to give to my ad registrants attendees so they can register using this link this is the registration page link okay got it so this way they can register from here and they can then see the next upcoming webinar coming up okay and also presenter so as this is an automated webinar we don't need a presenter link but if we if i click here go to control panel what i can see is during the live webinar when it actually goes live um, i mean automated webinar when once it goes live next session so you can see how many people are actually watching it real count of attendees and from here you can change the setting all messages are public or private so the real audience who are going to watch this webinar you can see their messages here and you can actually reply to these messages from the control panel from the back end so what an amazing setting we can get from here got it so as an admin you can as a presenter you can see in from the back end during this automated webinar the real engagement which is happening in the webinar okay and you can control it suppose some fake comments people are putting it you can actually delete the comments okay so great settings so this is how you can do it now next is analytics if we go to analytics we can see a particular session now say for example this is this was my automated webinar which runs every day now say for example i want to see in last this month this month only nine people visited five registered and two people attended the live webinar okay if i see this all time so i can see 1317 registered and 793 60% show up rate which is awesome which is very good if i go to registrants i can click here a particular webinar then i can click here on the particular session okay now say for example if i go to this webinar every day 8 pm all time i can click on go and then from here i can see uh, the name and email id of all the people who attended it okay when did they attend attended live or not and then time to enter the webinar time in webinar uh, live room for how much time they watch the webinar duration 50 minutes this person watched only five minutes then he left only five minutes five minutes okay 25 minutes 30 minutes so i can export this entire data into excel file and then i can sort these people in the descending order of the amount of time they they spent on the in the in the live room and then i can do the follow-up through whatsapp or other medium like call so this way we can retarget these people by using this very powerful analytics and registrants i mean all these very powerful stats we get from our webinar got it so your entire business can go into auto mode okay your sales page and everything and uh, people will feel and they cannot actually fast forward uh, your webinar they don't have the playback option got it so which means uh, they 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 cannot pick if it is a live webinar or an automated webinar okay so the my my review for this is obviously uh, this saves a lots and lots of time okay if i talk about uh, the uh, overall experience as an attendee it is it gives an awesome experience using chrome if you attend this webinar okay on, on your mobile or maybe on your laptop it gives an awesome feeling got it so overall i say that in 2023 and onwards this is the world's best automation webinar automation tool you can go ahead and uh, try it out okay so you can um, if you want to try out okay for 30 days you can go to my affiliate link i'm giving this link in the in the video description as well uh, go to dna club.in slash webinar jam okay so you get 30 days trial for only one dollar you can take this and start one dollar trial it will show you annual plan okay but once you in, once you are into trial before they charge annually you can actually convert this into monthly plan which is 99 dollar per month so you can try for two three months and then you can decide and um, also if you think that you are not technical and you need uh, my team to help you to set up the, your entire automation webinar for you so we do give a tool service as well we have a tool service so what you can do you can go to dna club.in slash book time i'm giving this link in the clickable link in this video description as well so you can go to this link and you can select next suitable time slot so that uh, you can discuss about your business and we can help you to set up webinar automation for you using ever webinar or webinar jam okay so we give a proper tool service as well got it so all the non-technical people don't worry we are with you okay we have your back so do subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you have any question related to these tools, then do let me know in the comment box below. 
like the video and also do share this video with your colleagues if you are you are just into that phase of taking decision whether you should go ahead with webinar jam or not do just watch this video again and again and then accordingly take decision from my side it is awesome okay awesome experience thank you